People talk about time flowing or passing or moving. There's something funny about such locutions because look, when we normally say something is moving or changing or passing or flowing, when we say something is passing, we mean it's at a different location at time one than it is at time two. It's at a different spatial location at time one than it is at time two. And all of these verbs, moving, passing, changing, involve time in this special way. If something is growing, it means its size is different at time one than at time two. When we say a river is flowing, we mean the little chunks of fluid are at different locations at time one than they are at time two. You try to apply a verb like flowing to time, you get a funny situation, okay? What it means to say presumably time is flowing is that the time at time one is different from the time at time two, okay? Just as the position of the chunk of the river at time one is different than its position at time two, so your position along the time axis is different at time one than time two. But of course when you say that, it's, it's either gibberish or it's just a tautology, okay? It's true by definition, okay, that the time at time one is different than the time at time two. It's not true by definition that the place at time one is different from the place at time two. Something could be stationary, okay? It could have the same spatial location at time one as it has at time two. But what time it is at time one couldn't be the same as what time it is at time two by definition. So there's something funny about these claims, time is flowing, time is moving in a way that space doesn't. It's not clear how one can really make clear sense of such claims.